we are at the Blue House here in Seoul, Korea. Yeah, it's a bit different. We are uh, walking along the grounds. Haven't really been able to go into any of the buildings. It's more of a compound tour than it is a building tour. Yeah, I agree. Lynn just said it's more of a compound tour than it is a actual building tour. And so the one thing that I've noted is that there is a ton of like hiking paths in here. It's just, you're hiking everywhere. We're walking all over the place and we're walking outside. It's really warm. On top of that, the buildings that you can walk through, so to say, you're going around the actual building. Like you're walking the outside of it. Like if you snuck into someone's house at, through their gate and you were just trying to get through to their backyard. And so the building that we're allowed to do that on was the uh, presidential residence which was really neat like they had a bunch of ladies pruning the lawn and then they had a old path that you could walk around like i said like you're going through the side gate into the backyard but it did give you insight into the house because they had all the windows open and you could see inside the house and the first thing that we saw at least the first thing i noticed was that there's an entire beauty salon inside of the house for the president to get ready in the mornings that's pretty funny or ready for being on TV. Other than that, we actually hiked all the way up the mountain behind the Blue House. We walked up to the Blue House, but unfortunately from the 11th to the 31st of May, they're not doing any tours inside of the Blue House, which would have been the only indoor tour area that you could do here. Yeah, other than that, it's just been peaceful walk around after peaceful walk around. I don't know how much of this is museum and how much of this is like political. Some sort of thing to make people happy that they're here. That being said, it's been a lot of fun. It's free. So that's pretty crazy. It was the first thing we did. Like we woke up 7.45, got ready, got onto a bus, took the bus here, took about a half an hour, walked over to the gate, got here at about 8.45, 8.50ish. And then they don't open the gates until nine. Since we pre-registered, all we had to do was uh, badge in and we were good to go and just started walking around. So other than that, we'll uh, check back in in a moment here. Lynn and I are starving. We haven't eaten anything all day, so we're all morning. Anyhow, we'll uh, check back in in a moment. <laughs> all right, and welcome back. It's been a little while. I think the last time I actually spoke to the camera, we were still at the Blue House. So after the Blue House, we went over to a waffle joint that was actually right next to it. We just walked down. It took about 15 minutes and the waffles were amazing. I got a peanut waffle, like a, a waffle with peanuts and sauce on it, as well as uh, cream, freshly whipped cream. And Lynn got one with citrus fruit if I recall correctly. Again, with whipped cream, freshly whipped cream on it. That was really good too. Ben and Chris finished up walking at the Gung Palace. So they wanted to meet up for lunch at this famous beef soup place called Imam Sonon Tang. And the meal was delicious. Everybody enjoyed it. We got uh, two or three of the regulars and Ben got like a special issue type of deal where it was like more of the cartilage type of meat. And then we went over to Bokchon Village to walk around. Chris actually split up from us at that point and we walked him over to the League of Legends park, the PC Bong that had League of Legends in it. And... That was amazing. Like, we were all blown away. It was crazy. We walked around there before going to Bokchan Village. Chris stayed at the PC Bong. And we walked all up and down Bokchan Village Hills. We got some coffee, some ice cream. We ended up going to Myeongdong. And the hair is different because when we went to Myeongdong, we went to Juno's Hair. A famous place to get hair done for foreigners. And... I went immediately, got our hairs cut and colored, both Lynn and I. Oh, Lynn just got a color? Color and a treatment. No. So Lynn got color and a moisturizer treatment. I got a cut and color. And then we bought some shampoos from them. I finished up way faster than Lynn. Went downstairs and started shopping for stuff for mom. Also started shopping for uh, some K-pop items. Oh, 
randomly on the way to Iman Sol Nun or Sol Nun Tang, uh, we ran into the YG store where I went up and was able to buy the keychain hammer that I was looking to replace, the one that I lost in Thailand. So I was able to to get it, and that was that was amazing. So it worked out really well. But back to uh, Gino's hair. The guy was awesome. I don't think I actually have any footage of the place. Uh, I put the camera away at that point. Pretty much was done for the day with the camera. Just walking around Myeongdong. I went to a few K-pop stores after that. They didn't actually have what I'm looking for. I'm hoping to get a Mamamoo light stick before I leave, but we'll see what happens. We're gonna make a revenge trip tomorrow. And we went and had cheesy chicken galbi for dinner. Again, I don't know if I got that much footage of it because I wasn't really looking to do anything. It was just vacationing at that point. So everything's coming to an end right now. We're packing up, wrapping everything all up together. And I think uh, that's where I'm going to end tonight's video. And then tomorrow, I think I'm just going to use my iPhone. I might grab the, the GoPro uh, or the Insta360 and use that for a little, but we'll see what happens. Anyhow, we'll uh, see you in the next video. Have a good night.